Hey everyone, today in this video, I'm gonna walk you through the Dreamy app settings for the Dreamy X50 Ultra. If you're interested in this product or you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in the video description. This video will give you a brief overview of all the app settings so you can get a better feel for what you can change and customize depending on your cleaning preferences and desires. This app's available for iOS and Android devices. So let's go ahead, let's jump right in. So here's what the X50 Ultra looks like when it's set up as a device within the Dreamy app here. We have a couple more devices set up under our account. But here's a look at it with some quick specs, but we can select go to the device to be taken into our device specific settings. Front and center, we have our map, very top charging status, previous clean and current battery percentage. Left hand side, we have two little eyes. This is gonna be uh, just some tips and tricks for you. Right hand side, we have two map icons. The first one has an eye, that's gonna be our map display settings. Toggle what you want on or off to be displayed on your map. You can rotate it and change between 2D and 3D viewing. And then below map display is map editing. We can rename, backup, restore, delete. We can readjust our rooms, ground environment, no-go zones, virtual walls. We can add furniture, adjust cleaning sequence, virtual thresholds and ramps, curtains and low-lying areas. So they have lots of stuff that we can identify and build out within our map. Curtains and low-lying areas is new if you're thinking about this from like, let's say the X40 Ultra. So let me show you really quick. Let's select room partition. We can merge, divide and hide right here and they walk you through all those settings. We can also rename. Next up is ground environment. This is where you're gonna change carpet or floors and then just choose it by room. So we could select the material and look at this. You can really adjust a lot in here, horizontal or vertical. So you can adjust that within your map. Then no-go zones and virtual walls. So we have multiple options here. Virtual wall, drag and drop, no-go zone, drag and drop, no mop zone, drag and drop, and they're color coded for you, which is nice. And you can add multiples of each. Then we have furniture, so you can select that and you can add all of these different types of furniture as you see fit around your house. That's just gonna be for you as opposed to any added benefit for your cleaning. Then we have cleaning sequence, so we can slide to reorder the cleaning sequence. That's gonna be where it chooses, you know, how to clean and in what order. Virtual thresholds and ramps, this is gonna be important too, especially with the really awesome ability to clear larger thresholds. So we can identify passable thresholds, impassable thresholds, and ramps. You'll notice it actually placed a threshold for us automatically here. That's actually going down steps. So it's not technically the kitchen, but it did that automatically during setup. If we had other thresholds around the house that would give this vacuum issues or pause, we can identify and edit those there. Next up is curtain. So we're gonna select that one right here and we can basically add a curtain anywhere on our map and it will clean around and underneath. You can learn more about that here. But basically if the curtains hang too low, then don't use this to avoid the vacuum from getting stuck. And then last but not least, we got low lying areas here. It will automatically add low lying areas during cleaning, but if you wanna add additional ones here, you can do that with ease. Just drag and drop and select where you want it to on the map. And this walks you through what it's gonna do, but basically it's gonna lower that module to be able to go under your couches, chairs, dressers, whatever it may be. Below that, we have a video camera. This is live video monitoring where you can drive it around the house, have it check for your pets. All of that good stuff can be done right through your phone if you enable it. And towards the bottom left-hand side, we have a custom cleaning icon. We can toggle on or off clean genius if we want. Free your hands and you can let it do all of the intelligent recommendations and cleaning parameters for you or you can customize your clean. How do you want it to clean at any given time? Vacuum, mop, vacuum and mop, mop after vacuum, customize room cleaning for each individual room. And depending on what you select, like in this case, we just have it on vacuum. We can adjust the suction power all the way up to max plus, and we can choose quick or standard route options. Let's go to the mop option. We can adjust the wetness of the mop and the mop washing frequency by area, by time, by room. And then we also have four different route options down at the bottom, quick, standard, intensive, and deep, depending on the mopping cleanliness that you're after for any given space. And then they change a little bit when you have vacuum and mop. So you get more custom options for just either or, but you get the idea there. Mop after vacuuming, and then the custom. So you can pick and choose your rooms and the breakdown for each room cleaning wise. And below that we have three different tabs, room, all, and zone cleaning. 
So we can clean room by room, we can clean everywhere, or we can drag and drop individual zones, and we can add up to 10 zones at any given time, and you can clean each of those zones up to three cycles at a time. And then below that, we have our clean button to initiate the clean, and then we have our dock button where we can do dock tasks like empty, wash, or dry. We can also view more dock settings as well. But speaking of more settings, like the dock settings, top right-hand corner, we have three dots, we can select that. This takes us to all of our device settings where you can easily search for a setting that you're looking for, or you have a really nice menu here to pick and choose what you're after. First up is cleaning history, so we can see our previous cleans and a nice breakdown of the data there. Next is schedule cleanup, do you wanna add a schedule? Choose the start time, which days of the week you want it to repeat. You get the idea here and you can choose your cleaning preferences. Then we have carpet settings. So when it's cleaning carpets, what do you want it to do? So mop, detach, mop, raise, vacuum and mop, avoid, ignore, you get the idea. But we want it to be able to vacuum carpets and just raise the mop up. But I love that it can leave it behind at the station if you desire. Do you want to clean carpets first? Do you want to turn on or off carpet boost? And what about intensive carpet cleaning? You can do that too. Next, we have floor cleaning settings. This takes us to our auto lifting LDS. This is basically customizing your radar lifting or lowering settings. Do you wanna turn it off so it never does it? Do you wanna have security coverage where there's a little bit of margin? Or do you want extreme coverage where we'll try to basically go under anything that's gonna be the same size as the vacuum height wise? Up to you which one you choose. Collision avoidance mode, auto recleaning. So if you wanna turn this off or on, you have a couple different ways to activate it auto detachment and installation of mop pads. I love that feature, definitely recommend turning it on. Cleaning along the floor direction. This will just depend on your floor type and how sensitive they are to wear and tear, but I love that Dreamy's mindful enough to give us that option. Dynamic obstacle area cleaning. We can toggle that on or off. Stain recognition, large particle boost. These are just some bonus laboratory features that they call them that we can enable if we want. Then we have our AI driven mop extend settings. So you can toggle a bunch of these settings on or off depending on your preference. And you can adjust the frequency of the extension. Then we have our clearance leg settings here. So basically, how do you want the legs to operate when it encounters a threshold or obstacle like this? Hurdle style crossing where it's one leg at a time or synchronized obstacle crossing depending on your threshold, right? So this says the synchronized is better for thresholds. And then the hurdle style is gonna be better for things like sliding door tracks. Probably a bit more complex things for it to go over to make sure it's not gonna get stuck. So you have both options there, pretty cool. Very satisfying to watch that animation. Choose the best one for your household. Dock settings, this is where we get to all the dock settings. Mop washing with detergent, auto wash, washing settings. So a lot of options here. You can just turn on smart mop washing and forget about it. Or if you want to adjust your washing mode and temperature, you can do that there. Auto rewashing, same thing. Depends on the clean genius mode that you're in, if you want to enable that. Drying settings, you can toggle that on or off. We have different dry times, two, three, four hours or mute. Hair compression, auto empty. We have our auto empty settings. And then we have our washboard base auto clean settings here. If you want to deep wash the base. Below that, we have intelligent obstacle avoidance, toggle on or off. If you have pets, you can enable or disable that. Pet picture, you can opt into that if you want. I like to have the pictures on my map and stuff, but up to you. And then fill light, you can turn on or off the fill light. That LED light's very bright and really a nice feature. Then we have voice assistant settings here, so you can use the built-in voice assistant. To walk you through some of the settings here. Nice tutorial, how to wake it up, conversation history, view all voice commands. So look at all the options you can pick and choose from. So you can learn more about that there. Real-time camera settings, you can enable that if you want. You have to opt in and you have to set a password and it will notify you 
uh, verbally, you'll hear the vacuum talking to you when it's in the live video monitoring mode. More functions here. So shortcuts, do not disturb, off-peak charging if you want to save some money on your utility bills, resume cleaning, child lock, notification, remote control. We can drive this around and you can raise and lower the module up at the top right there. So cool. Wi-Fi, device maintenance. So pretty cool. All of that, locate the robot, very detailed. Accessory usage, here's a breakdown of all the key parts and components that may or may not need to be replaced in the future but it keeps track of everything for you here. Help section, device info, additional suggestions, device sharing if you want to share this with friends or family, firmware updates, and then lastly, delete the device. So very detailed mobile app with a lot of customization. It's very feature rich, tons of settings to really spend some time reading, going over and getting it exactly right for your environment.